Hello everyone, today I will bring you a high energy BL drama Tintem Jai the series. The story begins with the protagonist's self introduction after her father passed away. Alicia's mother left Alicia in the care of her neighbor's aunt, grew up in the company of his neighbor's elder brother Amu since he was a child. It's just that the good times didn't last long, and the neighbor's aunt also died of illness, but Alicia still lives in the neighbor's aunt's house because of the neighbor's aunt's son Amu. Obtaining Amu's consent, Alicia continues to live with him. Amu was on night shift at the hospital that day and didn't come back until the next morning. He bought Alicia's favorite pearl milk tea casually, which made Alicia very happy. The two went to buy ice together, and the little brother who looked after the store was Alicia's good friend Abir who had bickered since childhood. The two started bickering as soon as they met. Alicia asked Abir to get herself an egg, and then smashed the egg directly on Abir's head. Abir was so angry that he started chasing and killing Alicia directly in the store, but was stopped by the store's grandfather. After returning home, Alicia's childish behavior of bickering with Abir was also read by Amo. Alicia has always been in love with Amo, but every time she teases Amo, she gets Amo's ruthless rejection. This time is no exception. He raised his foot to kick Alicia, but fortunately Alicia dodged quickly, but Alicia herself has long been used to it, and will make persistent efforts every time she is rejected. Then I urged Amo, who had to go to work at night, to go upstairs to take a shower and sleep, but seeing the tone of talking to the whale, Alicia became very jealous and uncomfortable again. He even said that the fish should stop swimming when they are tired, but in the end he forced Amo to go upstairs to sleep. While Amu was showering, Alicia started acting like a demon again. She pretended to tidy up Amu's clothes, but she was actually looking for Amu's condition. But this day really made him turn over, and he asked him who gave it to him. Amu's answer made Alicia's heart explode with pain, but no matter who gave it, it ended up in Alicia's stomach. He just wanted to remind Amu of his own existence. When Amu was about to go to bed, he insisted on covering him with a blanket. <laughs> Amu couldn't take it anymore and kicked him out. After Amu fell asleep, Alicia also went downstairs to prepare for her work. He opened a painting class to teach children to paint. Only this day, there was another student brought by a beer in the class, who was the daughter of his mother's new love. The mother entrusted the child to Alicia to take care of, but she avoided seeing her, which made Alicia feel very disappointed, because Amu was still sleeping. Alicia asked the children to keep their voices down a little. He asked each child about their dreams, which touched Alicia deeply. People will be affected by realistic factors, and then they will forget their childhood dreams. Alicia loves drawing, but only when she has free time. Now it is just to make ends meet. So he opened a painting class to earn money. After class, Alicia bought ice cream for the children. Afterwards, a beer also came to take away the daughter of Alicia's mother's new love. It's just that Alicia was not very happy, because her mother came to pick up the little girl, and she didn't plan to meet her. This made Alicia unwilling to take the initiative to meet the other party. So after the two of a beer left, he couldn't help complaining about his mother's partiality alone. <laughs> Afterwards, Alicia went to eat at the restaurant she frequented and rubbed the table with her friend Abir who was also having dinner. Then another groupie girlfriend, Helen, also came over, and the three chatted together at the table. For example, about Amo. After all, Amo has been on duty in the hospital for a long time. Helen naturally wanted to ask a few questions when he didn't see Amo, but was severely insulted by Abir. Just as they were eating, A. Hill, the son of the food stall, also came back at this time. He also took the initiative to come forward to greet the three of them, which made Abir's heart flutter for a while. Who had a crush on Ahil? Seeing his abnormality, Helen teased him so hard that he choked in fright. However, these two deliberately played tricks, which made Abir feel uncomfortable for a while. Alicia helped Helen pack the purchased goods, and the two mentioned Amu in work during the chat. Alicia appreciates Helen and thinks she is great. Alicia can talk and make Helen happy. Helen invites Alicia to drink pearl milk tea, and the two chat about Amo. He was unresponsive and couldn't respond to messages in time, and Alicia was treated the same way. 
he felt Amul was slow. Helen can juggle work, which makes Alicia envious. They were molested by gangsters, and Helen defeated them, showing great fighting power. Afterwards, they encountered a scene where Ahil's father was accidentally injured and Amo helped to take him to the hospital. Ahil's mother rushed to the hospital after handing over the store to a few little guys. Alicia tidied up Amo's things. After Amo got off work, Alicia went to the hospital to wait for him to go home after work. Amo got angry with Alicia because of the death of Alicia's father that year and worried that something would happen to him. Alicia explains to Amu that he doesn't blame Amu. But Amu was still reluctant to talk about the subject. He wanted to go upstairs to avoid Alicia's nagging, but Alicia stopped Amu from letting him escape. Just when the two were at a stalemate, the doorbell rang suddenly. It was Ahil's brother Amir who came, because he wanted to be a woman and his family relationship was very tense. They helped Amir solve the problem of accommodation, and at the same time felt Amir's longing for home and inner pressure. Alicia understood Amir's hard work, and gave encouragement and support by his side. After a series of hilarious and sensational incidents, Amu appeared and rescued the embarrassing situation. This made Alicia jealous. But under Amu's threats, he ended up happily staying in Amu's room. Alicia was teased by a beer and Amu at school. His mood was affected a bit. But eventually he left and went home to get his stuff. After seeing Alicia's dress, Amu also teased him, which caused Alicia's temper to explode. Amu changed his attitude and advised Alicia not to be angry. Amir came home to help, but his father only praised Ahil and ignored him. This makes Amir feel insignificant in his own home. Alicia saw the change in Amir's face, comforted him and tried to divert his attention. In class, Alicia's mood was still unstable, and the teacher sensed this and offered him comfort and advice. After class, the students cared about Alicia and expressed their views on choosing a major, which provided Alicia with ideas. Alicia's mood improved when Amu was mentioned. On the way home, Alicia came across a crepe stand entrusted by her mother. The younger sister wanted to stay with Alicia and Alicia couldn't refuse. After Alicia stayed with her sister for a while, she met Ahil and Abir and asked them to take her home first. Alicia forgot to inform the children that there is no painting class today, and the children made a wasted trip. Alicia was reassured by a child who suggested that everyone go to his house to play. After seeing off the children, Alicia returned home for a barbecue. Amo also participated, and Alicia and Amo had a little fight. After the meal, Alicia cleared the cups and dishes by herself. Amu wanted to help but Alicia refused. Alicia softened her heart because of Amu's acting like a baby and agreed to help Amu feed her pets. Amir loaded the luggage into the car and was about to leave. At this time, Alicia brought him the roast pork that he forgot to bring, which made him feel very warm. Then Amu came to see Alicia off before Amir left and said many sweet words. Alicia was jealous when she came home and asked Amu if he was interested in Amir. But Amu mistook Alicia for being constipated and found his expression strange. So Alicia had to confess her thoughts and told Amu not to treat anyone as an object. Because Amu's object can only be himself. However, Amu didn't pay much attention to Alicia's declaration. Thinking that Alicia was just joking. He also kicked Alicia, but Alicia didn't care and continued to show off in front of Amu. The way the two get along doesn't seem to have changed, although Amir has left. But in his hometown, the stories of the friends continue. On this day, everyone grabbed concert tickets for Helen among friends. In order to help him get tickets for the Idols concert in Bangkok, everyone gathered and stood by. Alicia was woken up by his mobile phone while sleeping. Although he woke up late. He still remembered that he still had things to do. And a beer woke up Ahil who was snoozing. And as a result, he hugged Ahil and slept with him for 10 minutes. Although Ahil was talked about by a beer for a while. But being able to share the bed with the person he likes in such an ambiguous posture is simply extremely happy for a beer. After that, everyone came to help Helen grab tickets according to the agreed time. Although a beer complained about Helen, he was very honest in his actions.
he sat down and waited for the tickets to start. Even the busy man Amul was called by Helen to help. And he even brought buns for everyone. The arrival of Amul surprised Alicia. Because in his impression, Amu should go to work today. But Amu said that he had told him about changing shifts today. This embarrasses both of them. One with a slow reaction and one with a poor memory. I have to say that these two people are also a perfect match. And they are both fools. However, when the time came to grab the tickets, everyone's computers were stuck one by one. And they couldn't enter the ticketing website at all. Everyone had to announce the failure of grabbing tickets. Fortunately. Amu was lucky enough to successfully buy the golden zone of the concert for Helen. This also made Helen happy to say that she would invite everyone to dinner to celebrate. Amu, who returned home after grabbing the tickets, felt heavy because of work, so he couldn't fall asleep for a long time. Alicia heard this. She immediately stepped forward to care about Amu's situation, listened to Amu tell about the pictures and stories he saw last night. And then naturally turn the topic to Amo. <laughs> On the day when Helen treats guests for dinner, they go to a restaurant in the shopping mall and meet a couple on a date. A beer made a slip of the tongue and was criticized by Ahil at all. Alicia also took the opportunity to express her love to Amo, which eventually caused the couple to leave in embarrassment. Friends share their favorite food. Alicia pays for strangers. And the other party is very interested in him, which makes Amu very jealous. On the day of Alicia's birthday, neighbors gave gifts and friends ate barbecue to celebrate. Amu came back. He bought orange cake. Alicia was happy. Ahil and Helen gave shoes and clothes. A beer gave key rings, but Amu had no presents. Alicia helped Amu who was drunk, and Amu was very upset. At this time Amu finally took out the doll he was going to give. And Alicia was satisfied. Early the next morning, Alicia was woken up by a phone call from a friend who not only wished him a happy birthday, but also invited him to dinner. Alicia inadvertently complained about Amu's behavior because she was sleeping with Amu. As a result, the friend heard Amu's ambiguous sleep talk, which made the friend question the relationship between Alicia and Amu. Alicia agreed to her friend's invitation. She hung up the phone, but the scene of Amu's intimate interaction with the fish at home emerged in his heart, which made him feel unhappy and began to feel jealous. He couldn't help, wondering whether Amu was thinking about the fish or the woman who gave him the fish. Soon after, both Alicia and Amu got up, but Alicia went to see the fish immediately after getting up, which made Alicia unhappy, especially after Amu ignored him. Alicia decided to have dinner with her friends. Alicia eats a lot, but luckily Amu can afford it. Alicia mentioned about a beer. Amu changed the topic to Alicia's studies, but Alicia hasn't decided what major to choose. Because the school fees are too expensive, he has to ask his mother if he can afford it. Amu told him not to have this worry, and asked Alicia to think about it. On the way home, Alicia suddenly wanted to drink bubble tea, so she begged Amu to buy it for herself. But Amu refused on the grounds that Alicia drank too many glasses these days. Alicia was fussing, but Amu gave him a violent blow, which made him scream in pain. Amu apologized immediately after hearing Alicia's painful voice, and offered money to apologize to Alicia, letting him buy whatever he wanted. Alicia happily went to buy a drink, and happened to meet Adnan, the man he had helped, and he learned that he was actually his senior. After a short chat between the two, Alicia knew each other's name in school, and hoped to meet again in the school. Alicia came back to find Amu with drinks and cakes. He saw a scene that made him unhappy. Amu met his ex-girlfriend. After some arguments, Alicia reluctantly helped the drunk Amu upstairs and threw him on the bed to rest. The two fell directly on the bed. Alicia heard that Amu was drunk. She did not forget to tell her not to sleep on a high pillow. Alicia thought Amu was awake and wanted to talk about her marriage and ex-girlfriend, but found that Amu had fallen asleep and had no choice but to give up. In the morning, Alicia put on the birthday present from Ahil and Helen, and Amu picked him up to school, feeling happy. During the party, Alicia was hit by bird droppings. 
and went to the bathroom to clean in embarrassment. Fortunately, she met Adnan for help. Alicia's friends are surprised to see Adnan and Alicia together. Adnan professes his love for Alicia, suggesting their third meeting was meant to be. <laughs> Alicia leaves in embarrassment. Friends gossip about their relationship and Alicia says she only loves Amo. After school, Alicia bought crepes and was teased for liking the sweet and salty ginseng flavor. Alicia brings back crepes and even Abir is surprised. Alicia greeted Ahil's father and encouraged Ahil to face it positively. Dealing with Ahil, Alicia came home with a crepe and saw Amo resting on a chair. After seeing the scrunchie, he couldn't help feeling jealous. And he questioned Amo angrily. <laughs> Alicia sang sad songs while drawing pictures, and Amo pretended to be indifferent. Alicia's heart aches. Amo denies feelings and looks at the fish instead of Alicia. Alicia asked Amo if he was obsessed with his ex girlfriend. Amo denied and explained the reason for keeping fish. He told Alicia that he had no feelings for his ex girlfriend which made Alicia feel good. Alicia sang a love song and asked him to marry him, but was rejected again. Alicia turned around. Amo's smile was sly. At night, Alicia was afraid of cockroaches and asked Amo for help, and he reluctantly agreed. Alicia slept in Amo's room, and Amo called him a troublemaker, but Alicia fell asleep contentedly. The next day, Amo sent Alicia to school, and the time they spent together increased significantly. Alicia was teased by her friends and heard by senior Adnan. Adnan expresses his affection and hopes to be liked by Alicia. <laughs> On this day, Abir brought his younger sister here. He cared about Abir, and they talked about love and family. Abir comforts Alicia with friends by her side. At night, Amu went into Alicia's room to look for a charging cable. Alicia offered to woo but was still rejected. He discovered that Alicia was allergic and was concerned about his health. Alicia joked with a grin and didn't care, and Amu scolded him for his attitude. <laughs> On the other side, Abir finds wine to let Ahi drink away his sorrow, but he drags him to kiss him. After waking up, Abir said that Ail was just in love for a while and had no feelings, and told him not to do it again. Ail was angry. Abir took his bottle and kissed him. Compared with the rapid development of the two, Alicia and Amu have no progress, which makes people anxious about the progress of Amu and Alicia. Make Amu happy. Alicia kept apologizing to him and dragged him to find food together. Alicia asked Amu for warmth after getting wet in the rain, but Amu finally couldn't bear it and reached out to hug him. At the dinner table, Abir expressed his mother's dissatisfaction and rejection of him, and Amu cared and comforted Abir. Alicia learned of Abir's family problems. She took the initiative to hand him a hot dog to show her kindness. But when Amo left his seat for a while to go to the refrigerator, Alicia and Abir played childishly because they were fighting for food. Abir also accidentally choked on food and almost walked away before the gate of hell. Fortunately, Amo was at home and helped Abir get the stuck food out in time. After returning home at night, Alicia continued to pester Amu to sleep with him and he asked who he had the best relationship with in the office. Jealous after learning that he had a good female colleague, Amu explained that there was nothing between her and her female colleague. Alicia asked Amu to hold him, but Amu refused. He asked about Amu's relationship with other people, and Amu explained that Alicia was his closest person. Abir complains about family problems. Ahil invites Abir to dinner. Alicia embarrassingly wants to go to the bathroom, gets teased by her friends and ends up running into Adnan. Adnan pursues Alicia and starts to curry favor with his best friend. <laughs> After learning that Alicia likes Amo, he offered to help Alicia arrange the scene. When it rained, Adnan took Alicia home and agreed to teach him how to skateboard. Adnan asks Alicia if there is a chance to pursue him, but Amo looks coldly. Adnan left. Uncle Fat came to visit and Amu treated him coldly. Uncle Fat gave Alicia a drama as a birthday present. On this day, Amu's father came to visit unexpectedly. Alicia asked Amu why he didn't want to talk to him about family affairs. Amu explained that he had conflicts with his father, and Alicia tried unsuccessfully to make peace. 
Alicia told Amu that someone was pursuing him. Amu was dissatisfied but did not express his opinion. <laughs> Alicia and her suitor go out skateboarding and feel close to each other. When they got home, Alicia was late and Amu got angry and scolded him. At this time, Adnan came to return the items Alicia left in the car, which was misunderstood by Amu as an act of intimacy. Amu was cold to Alicia. Alicia feels sad. The two started a cold war, ignoring each other. Alicia finds that Amu has been busy and tired and doesn't communicate with him. He took the initiative to talk to Amu, but Amu responded coldly. In desperation, Alicia told her friends about Amu's attitude, but they failed to give appropriate advice. Adnan brings Alicia a drink, and Alicia worries that refusing will hurt Adnan. A friend suggested that Alicia express dislike directly, but before he could express his feelings for Amo, he was sent to the hospital for drinking almond milk by mistake. Amo was very worried, and the two reconciled. Alicia tells Adnan that she has a new partner, and Adnan accepts the rejection. Alicia had dinner with friends. Amo confessed his love to Alicia, and the two held hands. <laughs> Amu protects Alicia and learns that his father mortgaged the property to borrow money. Helen was dissatisfied with her father's arrangement. She questioned her father, saying that she has the ability to do what she wants. Alicia asks Amu about the future, and Amu supports him in his pursuit of happiness. A few days later, Ahil told Alicia that he had been feeling very confused and stressed lately. He admits that he has always been a stubborn person and it is difficult to accept help and care from others. In addition, recently, he has been busy with work and studies, and he feels that he has no time and energy to take into account the feelings and needs of others. Ahil explained that he has high expectations and aspirations for his future, hoping to achieve something in his career. But at the same time, he was also frustrated and insecure because he worried about whether he would be able to reach these goals and whether he was making the right choices. He admits that he sometimes tries too hard and pursues perfection too much, but he ignores the people around him and his own inner needs. Ahil also confessed to Alicia that he was also confused about his emotions and relationships. He said that he has always been an independent and strong person, and he is not used to showing his vulnerability and needing help to others, but he also admits that he longs for someone to understand and support him, to give him warmth and encouragement when he needs it. Ahil said that he has a special sense of dependence and trust in Alicia, and he believes that Alicia is a person who can confide in his heart. He hopes to find a sense of security by Alicia's side, so that he will no longer face the challenges and confusions of life alone. Alicia felt distressed by Ahil's confession, and he comforted Ahil that he would always be by his side to support him, both professionally and emotionally. He encouraged Ahil to learn to accept help and care to believe in his own value and ability, and to relax, not to be too demanding on perfection. Ahil felt relieved and relieved after hearing Alicia's words. He decided to be more open about his confusion and problems and turned to Alicia for support and guidance. Ahil was very depressed under the pressure of work and family, but the care and support of his friends and Amol lifted him back up. Abir comforts Alicia with his own experience, telling him that he is very important to Amo. Amu also took a week off due to injury, which allowed him to spend more time with Alicia. Their relationship has also become sweeter. Alicia also seduced Amu with all kinds of teasing as usual, which made Amu dumbfounded as her boyfriend. But I have to say, he enjoyed Alicia's teasing very much, and thought he was really cute. On this day, Alicia found out that her mother hadn't remitted money to Amu. She felt so uncomfortable that she was bedridden and thought of leaving Amu. Fortunately, he was stopped by Helen. And he decided to stay at Amu's house, and the relationship between the two became better. In the evening, a beer came to Amu's house in a hurry, and without any explanation, he took Amu's injured arm and walked out. When the two arrived at Ahil's home, they found that Ahil had collapsed in the shop and lost his pulse. Amu rescued Ahil regardless of his own injuries, and asked Alicia to call an ambulance for help. After Amu's efforts, 
he successfully pulled Ahil back from the gate of death. However, after a doctor's diagnosis at the hospital, the doctor told everyone that drugs were detected in Ahil's body. Afterwards, Alicia asked Abir if he knew about it, and Helen angrily accused Abir of leading Ahil badly. Abir ended up having an emotional breakdown, crying that he had never taken drugs. These words made Helen and Alicia a little stunned, but Amu didn't say anything, apparently already knew about it. Later, when alone with Alicia, Abir told Alicia the truth. Due to too much psychological pressure, Ail became addicted to drugs. Abir felt that he had nothing to lose in his life, so he took Ail as a scapegoat and went to jail instead of Ail, giving Ail a chance to regain his life. These words let Alicia know that he has misunderstood Abir all along, and he feels sad for not discovering Ail's psychological problems earlier. In the evening, Alicia massaged Amo, who was seriously injured after saving someone. The two sat on the bed chatting, and Alicia had no intention of leaving home at all. Amu told Alicia that he had already talked with Alicia's mother on the phone, and got the permission of his future mother-in-law to entrust Alicia to him, and he was willing to take care of Alicia for the rest of his life. <laughs> It seems that Amo, who is obviously a sloth, moves very quickly in some places. Ahil who was awake. A bear immediately scolded Ahil for being ungrateful, and even Amu next to him was also criticized. After the innocent Amu saved someone, he was scolded bloody and could only seek comfort from Alicia. Ahil's sister Amir rushed back from Bangkok immediately after learning that her younger brother was hospitalized. After returning to Amu's house, she cried to Amu and Alicia, thinking that her leaving caused her brother to lose his freedom. When she came back this time, she was determined to stay and take care of her younger brother. Abir and Helen returned with snacks and drinks. Alicia had a hunch that they would be drinking a lot that night. Sure enough, Amu was drunk at night, but fortunately Abir helped Alicia to help Amu go upstairs, so that Alicia didn't have to work so hard. After putting Amu on the bed and leaving the room, Alicia remembered that Abir said in the room that Amu and Amir's sister are very suitable, so he asked Amir if she really had a relationship with Amu. Amir responded with a smile after listening, saying that they have no possibility of developing a relationship, and comforted Alicia. She told him not to deliberately conceal his relationship with Amu because he was concerned about the thoughts of the townspeople. <laughs> Ail recovered and was discharged from the hospital smoothly, but news about his hospitalization spread quickly in the town, and many people were secretly observing Ail. When everyone went to the restaurant to eat, friends who had come to a beer before came to say hello, and they kept provoking Ail and a beer. A beer couldn't take it anymore and made a shot, which caused a fight between the two parties and both Abir and Ahil were injured. Amu blamed them, not even taking a vacation easily. Because of the wounds on their faces, several people could not return to their respective homes, and Amu asked everyone to go to his house to take refuge. Before leaving, Abir punched Ahil as punishment for breaking the agreement. Although Ahil had a nosebleed, he was willing, and he swore to Abir that he would never do drugs again. Amu's birthday is coming. Alicia asks him what gift he wants. Amu asks Alicia to kiss him. Amir opened a beauty salon, and Amu and his friends came to congratulate him. Gossip Jane wants to sell the business, but Amir insists on the principal and refuses, and leaves in embarrassment. At this time, Amu and Alicia have gradually developed to explore the stage of physical relationship. Alicia stopped because of his physical reaction. He thought that being so obscene and dirty would destroy his cute image in Amu's heart. Amu told Alicia that it is not shameful to have a physical reaction, no matter what kind of Alicia she is. She is the cutest in her eyes. Everyone helped solve their own problems, and then only Amu was left. In order to unravel Amu's knot, everyone took turns to pick him up from work and let him get used to being taken care of. Alicia brought orange juice alone to meet Amu, and the two had a conversation. Alicia told Alicia about the senior's skateboard injury. Alicia is concerned about her senior's condition, but also afraid that Amu will be unhappy because of it. But Amu said it was normal for Alicia to care about him, and he allowed Alicia to visit him in the ward. 
However, when Alicia came to visit in the ward, Amu became jealous and interrupted their conversation by entering the room. On this day, Amu wanted to get rid of the old things at home, and the two cleaned up the old things. When they saw the things Alicia gave to Amu's mother, Amu didn't want to throw them away and asked Alicia to put them in a conspicuous place. After tidying up, the two went to Ahil's house for dinner, met a beer in Ahil, and everyone gathered for dinner. After dinner, Alicia wanted to buy bubble tea, and a beer also wanted to go together after hearing about it. So the three went to line up, but there were too many people, and in the end a beer managed to jump in line successfully. At night, Amu and Alicia share the same bed, and there is a breakthrough in their relationship. When the new year comes, Alicia wakes Amu up and prepares for worship. Amu accepts Alicia's offering, and Alicia hopes to marry Amu soon, as their relationship progressed. Amu became increasingly possessive of Alicia. Amu got mad when the two went shopping. <laughs> Alicia went back to the room angrily. Amu apologized many times, and the two reconciled. On this day, Alicia accepted an opportunity to work in other places and was about to leave. This shocked Amu, but Alicia asked for peace that night. Amu was worried that Alicia would skip class, and Alicia promised not to skip class after finishing the job. Alicia met her mother, and Alicia didn't appreciate her advances. After returning home, Alicia sadly told Amu about meeting his mother, who he felt didn't love him at all. Amu comforted Alicia with distress, telling him that it's okay if his mother doesn't want him, so that they can have each other exclusively. At night, Alicia and Amu sleep in separate rooms, but Amu insists on staying together. Alicia came to work in Alicia's room with her homework, and when she was ready to go to bed, Amu suddenly opened her eyes, took out her ring and proposed to Alicia. Alicia nodded and agreed with emotion, and agreed that she would wait until the day she could actually get married. Amu and Alicia ends here. I hope they will continue to be happy and not be bound by other people's eyes. Thank you for your support and attention. Leave your feelings in the comment area. See you next time.